Hello everyone, Semi-Retired Bob here. I talk about the carnivore diet and all things related to the carnivore diet and a few other miscellaneous odds and ends. Today, we are going to talk about one of those miscellaneous odds and ends. We're going to talk about eating out and the dangers within. Um, as most of you know that follow my channel, I've been sick for the last couple of days. Friday night, as you saw in my Christmas light special, I went out with the um, over 55 group at the church, we went out and saw Christmas lights and I did not realize we were stopping for dinner on the way home. So I had no chance to do any research about where I was going to go. So we got to this barbecue place and they had the only thing that didn't look like it was totally off plan because they had a lot of breaded stuff and stuff in lots of sauces and they just had a side dish of a pint of barbecue and I asked them they said it was a vinegar based barbecue so I thought okay that should be okay so I just got one pint planning on just eating that and then having some more real food when I got back here um, I don't know if it was the meat or the spices or whatever it was but the uh, I started to get a little bit of a tummy ache the next morning and I talked about that in my video that got released on Sunday I think it was but <clears throat> it progressively got worse throughout the day and it blossomed into full-blown food poisoning by that night and I don't know that it was actually food poisoning as much as my gut microbiome reacting to something I don't know what was in it but my stomach does still hurt a little bit today not so much when I'm sitting still, when I try to walk, every step I take I can feel kind of a jar in my stomach. So, I don't know, but that night as I was uploading the video, you'll notice, if you go back and look, the video that came out on Sunday, um, it had a title, but I did not add anything to the description, because as I was trying to focus on the computer, all I could see was brightness. From the computer screen. I couldn't focus on the computer screen. I couldn't focus on my phone to watch anything. I just laid down and went to bed. I didn't actually sleep for quite some time. I just laid there and suffered. But uh, yeah, so I don't know what was in it. But since then, I almost feel like it's given me a little bit of an ulcer in my stomach. That's what it feels like. I've never actually had an ulcer in my stomach, but it's slowly getting better. I still get occasionally these waves of pain um, in my stomach, and then it goes away again. So it could be that something in the barbecue sauce, I've been doing a lot of watching of YouTube videos over the last few days. Something in the barbecue sauce could have woken up the bad bacteria because they got fed by something and they just went to town on my stomach lining. Um, I don't know that that's the case but it is a possibility. So what I'm doing Miss Jessica is supposed to be bringing me some bone broth here in a little bit. I've basically been fasting since Friday night now. It's Today is Tuesday morning. You'll see this on Tuesday afternoon. I'm going to record this and then try to upload it so we don't miss two days in a row without a video. Um, from everything I've read, um, bone broth is supposed to be one of the number one things to help with ulcers and stomach problems that is within carnivore. I mean I've seen a lot of people suggest things that I'm just not going to, to try unless 
I get really desperate because I'm not interested in plant-based solutions because I think the plants will cause more problems long term because I believe that it's the whatever kind of plant was in the sauce is what caused this problem. Um, so that's one of the things we have to be aware of. If we're going to try to go out to eat, the way I did it before when I was going out with ML for lunch back in Omaha, I still got had a little bad reaction the next day, but it was nothing like this. Um, I went to the restaurant the day before and asked them could they, you know, wipe the grill off and just cook my sausage and bacon and eggs on a bare grill or in a little bit of bacon grease. And they said, sure, we can do that. And the little bit of reaction I had, I still think that because they use a lot of vegetable oil there, that the vegetable oil was so ingrained into the surface of the grill that I still got a little bit of vegetable oil poisoning, which it's still bad, but it's not nearly as big a deal as this has been. Um, so if you're going to go out to eat, make sure you do your research, call the, call the restaurant, go to the restaurant, do whatever you can to make sure you're going to get good, clean food because you know, my body has probably always reacted this way to whatever was in that sauce. But when you're used to feeling bad all the time, you don't notice when something makes you feel bad because you feel bad all the time. Now that we're on carnivore and we know, we know the way we're supposed to feel, then the the things that make us feel bad really make us feel bad. Oh, hang on a second. I gotta have a little drink of water. Oh boy. That was a little painful, but it's gone again. Like I said, that's that's the little episodes I'm still having. Um I did manage to walk into the building several times yesterday, so I got not what you'd call a lot, but I did get about a thousand steps in yesterday. Um, which is, you know, if you compare it to seven months ago, that's a tremendous amount. Compared to just a few days ago, not so much. But getting a little bit better each day. I'm hopefully going to be able to get out and walk some tomorrow. Because like I said, I've just been waiting up on the bone broth. And the, the thing I've noticed is I don't think the bacteria that I've been cultivating since I started this diet more than seven months ago is able to digest whatever kind was in that sauce that's causing this reaction. And that's what's woken up the bad bacteria because even now I'm still a little gassy and when I burp a little bit, I can still taste that barbecue, and this is Tuesday morning, so Friday night, Saturday to Sunday to Monday. I mean, I'm in my fourth day of not eating anything, and I can still taste it. So, it's just going to take some time for it to, to work out of my system, but it's not nearly as bad. I did sleep through most of the night last night. Well, I fell asleep. I was watching the ball game last night. I managed to stay up through halftime, decided to watch the second half from laying down on my phone, and I don't even think I made it through the, the first two or three minutes of the second half, because I fell asleep. Woke up, it was right about midnight, because Jimmy Kimmel was turning on, and that motivated me to get up and shut it off, because I can only stand to listen, even in the background, I can only stand to listen to liberal idiots for five ten seconds at a time before it drives me insane sorry i try not to get political on this channel but uh there's conservative idiots and there's liberal idiots both sides of the aisle have their idiots 
I don't think everything that the left side of the aisle stands for is bad. And I don't think everything the right side of the aisle stands for is good. But somebody like Kimmel, I just can't stand to listen to him for very long. So that's that. But uh, yeah, if you're going to go out to eat, make sure you do your research. And make sure you're going to get some good, clean food. I'm probably not going to try to go out to eat again for a very long time. Because I like the food I cook for myself. Um, I enjoy eating hamburger and roasts and occasional stew meat. And I hope this goes away by, you know, for the next couple of days because I have a couple of really good ribeyes in my freezer that I want to thaw out and have for Christmas dinner. So we shall see how that goes. But anyway, that's all I've got for you today, folks. Get out there, be 1% better today. Have a great day. I will see you tomorrow.